Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Rick here from Hobby Time. Right, first off, I want to start, before we talk about the next build, I want to talk about makers. Um, now makers are what enable me to do what I do with different builds and stuff. So as you can see here, these are some projects on the go for a sneak preview. I've got Lily Kill, I've got Yosh Studios, I've got Grizzly Mountain Designs, I've got Mystery Makers, I've got Nico Industries. I use all these guys, they're great guys, they all have different types of files. These guys here are what keep the community going. You know, guys that make replicas of, of movies, of games, of shows and all that sort of stuff. This is their work, this is their livelihood and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of these guys. Some of them I, I don't use, um, but these are the ones I do, and I just wanted to say thank you to all of them for the great work they do. Like, I'm not affiliated or anything like that. These are the guys who help me make my builds, and I just wanted to say thank you. Now, on to our regularly scheduled program. I have a very special build coming up. What I will do is I will just show you a, a quick spot here of it this is going to take me probably three or four months this is something entirely new i've never done it before so fingers crossed that it's good but here is the initial part now i'm not sure if you can see that on the camera there but yes this is the chest of wally wally what I've decided to do is make a full-scale one-to-one working Wally robot, all 3D printed. The power fist that I'd done last time from Mystery Makers, I used an Arduino and it was a pretty cool thing and, and got into it and all that sort of stuff. Now I've decided to step it up a little bit. So yeah, you'll see that in the next few videos and everything like that, but today's video we're going to go through the basics. What was printed, what I need to order, and just essentially the basic assembly. So let's start this new build. Well, here we are again with the next chapter in Hobby Time Story. This is the first lot of the prints for the body for Wally. Um, obviously, I had to do a little bit of scaling issue with these files to get them right and change a few things around like essentially i had to make it 250 percent to make it life size as i guess you could say however it ended up being like m 7.5 bolts and m 7.5 nuts which doesn't really work because they pretty much don't exist so what i've had to do is get the drill and drill them out to eight mil so that i was able to join everything together so this was about five days on the printer, six days maybe. Very flat, but obviously trying to get as much detail as I could without having to do too much sanding and stuff like that because there is a lot of post-processing on that job. The second part I've done so far with this Wally build is I have started the tank treads. I wanted to do that because they were a lot of small parts, like essentially each side of his tracks has 35 treads and with the 35 treads there was a bunch of little pins and stuff like that which will actually go in between hold the treads together make them replaceable now these were printed in PLA but I will be doing TPU bumpers on the tracks to give them a bit better grip as you can see I wasn't sure the best way to cut these I tried the hacksaw I tried a pair of side cutters or snips um, in the end, I just had to use a pair of heavy duty pliers and snip them off just so they were good to go. But tracks are done and the body is done, well, printed and assembled. Got our first tank tread there together, needs to be painted. And in that bag there. That bag there. And we also have that part there and that. Just a quick one in the first part of the Wally Build series. This was the print 
for the main body. I think it weighs about three, maybe four kilos. Not perfect prints. I did have some warping here on the bottom, but we can easily fill that in. Other than that, the body section is almost together. I just need to get the right size bolts. I've got a few that are different, different sizes. Yeah, but uh, thanks for watching this first part of our new build series. And uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys next week with the next part, uh, which will probably be rough assembly of the static, I guess the static robot before we start adding stuff. But as always guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you're enjoying this, any suggestions or ideas, I'd love to hear them. As always, thanks for watching.